Good morning, YouTube viewers. Well, today I decided to put in a car seat cover for my car. Here's my car right now. It's a Toyota Highlander. Uh, what I'm going to show you today actually applies to about all cars that are possibly on the market. Uh, basically, there are tons of car covers for sale. Uh, however, they're very pricey. They start from $30 and most of the time you can only buy it in pairs. You cannot get a car seat just for one seat. Uh, if you can find them, they're usually a piece of towel. And the problem with those is they tend to shift around every time you sit on them and it's a pain in the butt. So basically today I'm going to make myself a custom car seat cover out of a towel as well. But I'm going to make some adjustments so the seat stays on. So here's my front seat. Uh, it's a cloth seat and the problem is, you know, when it rains, you know, the rain gets in the car seat everywhere when you open the door or snow with 10 to 4 on it. Like today, we have a ton of snow. When you open the door, the snow falls in. Uh, or in the summertime, you put on sunblock or suntan lotion and it gets all over the seats and causes a mess. So I just decided to put a rag over it and that always sags or pulls to different places or falls in the corners or just falls off plainly so I'm gonna create something that is useful and let me set it up and I'll show you what I mean okay so now I've set up the towel let me back up a little bit so I can see basically you can put a towel down like this but as you get in and out of the car the towel will shift and it's just a pain to put everything in place every single time. So what I'm gonna do is basically add some straps and some actually some rods into the towel to keep everything in place. So what I'm gonna do is up here on the headrest, the headrest comes out. What I'm gonna do is actually add a rod that goes across the back. It'll be behind, it'll be behind this headrest. And as you can see, there's some, you see two silver rods. That's common in many cars, modern cars. So I'm basically gonna put a rod through the towel. It'll be sewn into the towel just to keep everything spread out instead of overlapping like like this. So it'll be the rod will help it keep it pushed out to the side and cover basically the whole seat without uh, overlapping and causing you know discomfort when you're driving. Also, what I'm gonna do is. Well, so I'll do this one hand. I'll be adding a strap down there where the top where the back cushion meets the rear cushion. And it'll be right here. I'll be going across. I'll be adding some straps. The straps will go around the seat. This is where the edge will go. It'll go around and back. It'll be elastic straps. Okay, so it'll be one strap here that goes around the back and another strap that actually will go here it'll go underneath right underneath the seat and the other side will have a similar strap and it'll go down into the crevice here and connect on the bottom so that'll keep the seat from the towel from shifting and keep the back from shifting and bundling up you know causing a knot on your back and we'll have something on the top to keep it spread out and held in place so the one the towel won't drop and two the towel will lay flat okay i'll show you the setup okay so i decided to drop a plan so you get a better idea of what i'm trying to do on the left you have the car seat you know headrest this is the back of the cushion and this is the bottom of the cushion and on the left on the right sorry is the towel uh, I bought a large bath size towel uh, I think they'll work the best uh, anything else smaller than a large full-size bath towel will be too short for your seat so as you can see this the tip of the bath towel will actually wrap around the top of the seat going around those two uh, metal uh, so head supports uh, so everything you see in the red is what I'm gonna do to the towel uh, you see first this red bar that goes across that'll be a bar that 
uh, I'm gonna try to look around in the house. It can be made of wood, like a wooden bar or a aluminum bar. Uh, basically, you want something that's uh, maybe at least a foot long, maybe a foot and a half, depending on how wide your seats are. Something that has strength and will not break when you pull on it. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually sew the rod into the tip of the towel. That will give it uh, strength and rigidity. Uh, keeps these two edges from folding over too much. Uh, and I'm going to do two uh, slits in the towel. You, you see these two red marks? These will be the slits. What they are for is for the headrest, these two uh, metal rods to go through. Uh, the headrest comes off, there's always a little mechanism here to unlatch it and the whole headrest will just pull out. And I'm going to put the towel on top of the seat and insert the two metal rods through these two slits. So that's what the slits are for. Um, and then basically I'm going to get two uh, sets of velcro um, stretchy material straps here they are and I'm going to need to measure the seat from here to here find out the height and then that will be the distance from here to here uh, I'm going to measure that after I do the the rod in the top of the towel first and then in the middle of this cushion we need to keep this cloth uh, towel from shifting around. So it'll be two more sets of um, stretchy straps. They'll go around here. So it'll be a, a set of straps that go here where the two seat cushions meet. And one additional strap that goes towards the edge of the cushion over here near your uh, lower part of your thigh basically to keep the towel from shifting around. Okay, so let me get an example of the strip. Okay, so the strip I'm going to use are these. Let me fold them out. Right? Um, you're going to need to measure the length of the strip you need, which is here. Uh, they need basically to wrap around the side of the seat from here and go below the seat and across the bottom and connect. Um, so these are stretchy sheets, very stretchy as you can see. You know, they stretch out like this. Uh, basically you can go to a fabric store and uh, pick these guys up. Any store that sells fabric will also sell these uh, stretchy uh, elastic strips. Basically they're the pieces of uh, like a uh, swim trunks or something that keeps uh, is sewn into the waistline that keeps you know helps keeps your pants up so this is what I'm gonna use these stretchy fabric strips and again you can go to any fabric store and pick them up or you can use anything almost anything like even a uh, like a hard plastic strip and uh, connect them but I went with something that's stretchy so the towel will stay closer to the and stay tight to the seat okay so I'll be back okay so going through what I have in the house I found this uh, aluminum rod uh, I think it's gonna be perfect it's almost two feet long which I think will work out fine and what this metal is gonna be used for is what you see in this diagram in the red that goes across the back of the two rods on your strip. So what I'm gonna do is put the rod down like this as you can see right and what I'm gonna do is fold it like this inside the cloth and what I'm gonna do is actually put some stitches here along this edge all the way across the rod as much as you know needed to keep it still and then also two quick stitches on the edge one on each side like this one on this side and one on this side that's that's the edge that's the edge of this rod that's basically to keep the rod from shifting shifting out okay 
So we want the rod going sideways like this, okay? So we want it to stay still in the middle, okay? So you have a little bit extra here, which I think is okay. Uh, but we're gonna put two, one stitch here and a quick stitch here. So that will allow us to remove the stitch later on and take out the rod if we want to ever um, put this in the wash. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll need to do that now and then. So one quick stitch here and one quick stitch here will make it easier to take this out you know, when we want to do laundry. So once again, you see the rod, we're going to roll this over and do a stitch all the way across. Um, and then from this diagram, you see these two red uh, slits. We're going to cut those slits here and here, right on top of these uh, ribbed area. Uh, you can use any towel, but my towel happened to come with these ribs. So it'll be a slit here and a slit here. And basically the rods will go through like this. They'll come out like that and like that. That'll be the head rest rods. And I don't think it'll become undone. The slits will be rather small. And that's what I'm gonna do. And basically for these strips, they'll be sewn to the end like this. You know, we put a, a couple of stitches down here and they'll be attached to the side of the cloth. And once I have that done, I'm gonna show you again what I'm gonna do, okay? Again, I'm gonna use stretchy fabric, uh, straps, and everything here you can see will be able to be thrown into the wash anytime you need it once it gets dirty. I also should point out that you should get a decent quality cloth. Uh, you want to make sure that the cloth will not uh, bleed off. Uh, you know those cheap cloths, those five ninety nine, and those cheaper towels. They all tend to uh, bleed once uh, you wash them, and you don't want your seats getting uh, you know the color transfer to your seat. So if you suspect your towel might bleed, it's best if you at least wash them once in uh, warm water to get off as much of, of the loose coloring as you know, possible. So I'm using a gray cloth. I don't think this cloth will bleed. Uh, and my interior is gray, so it's be less, I chose that color to be less conspicuous. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> so I've gone ahead and sewn in the middle rod. As you can see, there's a metal rod inside this towel. And I put on some masking tape. And what I'm doing right now is aligning, trying to figure out where to make the incision in the towel uh, for these two metal rods to go through. So I'm using masking tape to mark where they are. And I'm using just a black marker to indicate the center of the cloth where I should make the incision. As you can see, there is where I'm going to make the incision. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that.